How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. As you know on this channel we always talk about all of the leaks that happen to do with Forza Horizon 5 content, all of the updates and stuff like that. Well today we have even more leaks which have been found within the Forza Horizon 5 files. More stuff's been found and we're going to talk about it today. Potential new vehicles, potential new upgrades, we're going to get into it. We also have some slight updated information on Series 4 cars and the first expansion. If you do enjoy videos like this guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out massively. Let's get into today's video. Before we get into the leaks, I'm gonna talk about the other two things very quickly. Series four cars have apparently been leaked. There's been quite a few posts scattered around all over YouTube, Twitter, the forums, Reddit, all about the Series 4 cars being leaked. The Series 4 cars were apparently the Porsche 962, the Subaru Crosstrek, the 911 Sport Classic, the Volkswagen Golf R, the facelifted one, the Focus RS and the Mazda 323 GTR. These are apparently the leaked Series 4 cars. Well, if you've seen this and got your hopes up, I'm here to tell you that this is probably fake. The Series 4 cars that we're going to get in a few weeks are probably not going to be this bunch. I don't know why these leaks have been going around lately, but these cars are just the latest cars which have been leaked from the files. You may remember me talking about the Golf R and the 323 GTR a few weeks ago. We could genuinely get these cars at some point and one or two of them might be in the next update because these have genuinely been found in the files, but there is absolutely no correlation to be these being added in the next season, Series 4. So yes, these cars have been found in the files, we could get them at some point, but it's nothing to do with Series 4, don't believe them leaks. Now on to updated news about the first expansion. Now you may have seen last week I did a video speaking about the first expansion, about how we should get it, get information on it quite soon if, if it's on schedule like the previous Horizons. We talked about a leaked Amazon listing which actually displayed the release date of the expansion for today, the 21st of January. Well, the 21st of January has come about and we've not heard anything, we've not had, we weren't expecting the game to be released today, but possibly an announcement and we've not heard a thing. To me, this confirms that this Amazon listing was in fact either fake or just false. I did say in my video I had my doubts about it and it does look like that this Amazon listing is obviously fake because it's the 21st of January and we've not heard a peep about the first expansion. I still think we're going to hear about it quite soon but nothing to do with the 21st of January if that makes sense. Now on to the new stuff which has been found within the Forza Horizon 5 files. On GT Planet there's a user called Kelpie and Kelpie has leaked a few things in the past and I've made sure that this guy is backable and can be trusted with the things he says. Now he made a post a few days ago all about digging through the badge files of Forza Horizon 5. He had a look at the files all to do with the badges and the emblems of cars and he actually found quite a few interesting sort of little badges in there that could potentially tell us about what future cars we're getting. He actually provides a download for these badge files himself and I'm actually going to put them in the description. If you want to download these files yourselves and have a little look through them, see if you spot anything exciting, go for it. And guys, if you find anything, feel free to put it in the comment section below and let me know what you think of all of this. I like reading through your guys' comments and having discussions. What do you think of all of the stuff that's been found? Did you find anything else yourself? Let me know in the comment section. I have to remind you that obviously just because we're finding stuff in the file doesn't mean we will ever get it in the game. Some of these badges could be leftovers from previous Forzas, they could be ready for the next Forza. Playground games might want to add them to the game but they can't because of licensing issues. It's all complicated but it's still very cool to see what's actually in the files and could be used if they get permission or if they decide to add them. I found a few things myself, but let's have a look what Kelpie found to start with. He didn't just look at the texture files for the badges, he looked at the texture files for quite a few other things as well, specifically three things. The emblems and sort of logos of cars, the, um, the models of cars, you know, sort of the badges, and then three, the rims. If you don't know, in Forza Horizon 5, every single rim in Forza Horizon 5 has their own sort of texture file. You'll see on screen, these are the three different types of files he went through for every single file in the game. He found the Lincoln Mark 7 LSC badges. Now I believe this car is actually one that was leaked a few weeks ago as well. So not only has this, been, this car, images of this car been found in the files, we've also found the badges as well. This might back up the fact that we might get this in the future. He's found the MG3 VTI badges as well. 
I'm going to put a picture on screen on what I believe these badges are hinting towards, you know, car-wise. Again, just cool cars, really. The badges are in the files. We've not seen this in Forza Horizon 5 before. Could we see it in the future? There's no way of knowing, but it's very cool to see that they are in the files. And then he found a Curry badge. Now, I looked into this, and Curry is basically some kind of car modification sort of company. It's called Curry Enterprises, and if you go to their website, you can see they sell quite a lot of beefy modifications for certain cars, you know, some drag-related stuff, just a modification kind of thing. And Curry has been found within the Horizon 5 files. Now, this might mean absolutely nothing, or it could mean that we might be getting a few new sort of body kits on modifications like that for certain cars you never know take all of this with a grain of salt i'm just here to show you what's been found and you can make your own opinion of it someone else had a look through the files on the forum and he found a few things let's note them now he found the first gen oldsmobile tornado emblems very cool car again i'm going to try my best to find what that car looks like on screen this the emblems of this car have been found in the files the next thing that was found which is pretty cool we found gembala design logos now i had to look this up and figure out this was apparently Gembala is a guy which unfortunately has passed away but it is now a sort of a tuning company known as Gembala and they tune up cars and give cars their own sort of unique look similar to Mansory if you've ever heard of that I believe I'm on the right track here and basically their design logos have been found within the files of Forza Horizon 5. Could we see some Gembala design sort of cars mainly some Porsches that's what they mostly do could we see that in the future or is the logo just in there for sort of visual purposes we don't know again this is just stuff found in the files the Saab and Spiker logos have been found within the files that was very cool to see I'd love to see Saab in Horizon 5 along with Spiker as well but those are in the Horizon 5 files again this could be licensing issues Horizon 5 might want them in the game but they're not allowed to or it's something they're working on and we'll get in the future. All of the banished Chevy and Holden SS emblems have been found as well. Whether that will mean anything is up to you. And then I found a few things in there as well. I had a quick look through and a few things caught my eye. The Toyota Prius emblem is in there. Whether that means anything or not, again, no idea. This could just be in there from previous Forzas. It could be coming in the future. Again, there's no way of knowing. The McLaren P1 GTR emblem is in there as well. That was very cool to see. I believe the P1 GTR has been in the files for a while now even since Horizon 4 so this might not mean anything but it is cool to see that the P1 GTR is in the files still even in Horizon 5. And then other stuff like all of the Lancia emblems and all of the Alfa Romeos and other manufacturers like Ruff um, you know the cars that are similar to Porsches they're in the files as well and they, ha they aren't in Horizon 5 and they've not been in Horizon for quite a while. As I did say, if you want to look through these files yourself, you can. They're in the description. But remember, I need to remind you, take it all with a grain of salt. Anything you find could mean nothing or it could mean something. I do videos like this just because it's interesting to talk about. It's interesting to see what's in the files and what could potentially be added to the game. And also what's what they're being held back by as well. There are loads of stuff within these files which... Playground games probably want to add to the game, but they're not allowed due to licensing issues and this, that and the other. But anyway guys, as I said, that's everything that's been found currently. There might be a few other things in there, but again, take it all with a grain of salt. We don't know what it means. Could come, it might not come. And again, as I said, don't believe the Series 4 leaks. We are going to find out more about Series 4 in a couple of weeks now, possibly as soon as next week, which is very cool. And first expansion, we may hear about that soon as well. But for the time being, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.